Sagittarius. It's me, Sagittarius Soul Tarot. Let me go ahead, fix this real quick, make sure it looks good. All right, I'm going to do your guys' end of March 2021 reading, what to expect the end of this month for Sagittarius. It's going to be, I know we don't have many days left of this month, so we have what, like one, two, three, four, five, six, Basically, almost like 10 days left, like 9 days left. So, I'm going to do with the Wizard of Oz Tarot. I'm going to do some tarot. going to do Whispers of the Ocean, as well as Zodiac Cards, Romance, Fortune. going to see kind of what's going to happen with these next, like, 9 days. Okay, like, less than 2 weeks, what's going to kind of happen for you guys. Okay, if you guys want to donate to my channel, it's very appreciated. Sit to help me grow here, help me get some more content for you guys. My cash app is Chloe, the capital C, C H L O E, and then Hassle H A S S E L, capital H for Hassle. If you guys want to donate, I also have, you know, my Instagram you guys can follow. Um, it's Sagittarius underscore soul underscore tarot, as well as my Facebook page. It's Facebook. Um, on Facebook, it's tarot with a capital T and, and then more with a capital M. You guys are, um, can feel free to join on there. I got a pretty big. Uh, I feel like there's someone underneath this. It's a pretty big group on there now. It started off kind of slow, but now we do have more people. So if you guys want to, you know, post content and stuff on there, that'd be great. Um, you guys can feel free to post whatever. I got my coffee. I got my Marilyn Manson on. I'm ready to get this started. All right, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and start. Before I do the tarot, let me find a place. But I got so much stuff. Let's go ahead and see... The whispers of the ocean, what kind of, you know, what can you expect to happen the next couple of days or the next, you know, nine days? What, what would be like your personality these next like nine days? Like, what can you expect? How could you act? How can you expect to act these next like nine days? Okay, so it's quite a lot. Let's go ahead and. So, Sagittarius, how should you like kind of act these next like nine days? At the end of this month, what should your energy be like? Okay, where you need to be. So acknowledge how you are feeling. Have faith the universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible outcome. Okay, so it's like you're, I feel like whatever you went through this month, you are where you need to be for a reason. So if there's people in your life not there anymore, those people are meant to be cut out. And there's situations with people where, you know, things are kind of hesitant, like it's kind of meant to happen for a reason. Okay, I feel like you are where you need to be right now because of things happening this month. Okay, so let's see some situation cards for my Sagittarius. So seen one flip over. We got Drama Queen. So you could have somebody causing a lot of conflict in your life. Okay, these next couple of days, you could have somebody, or next week or two. Okay, we also have Nightlife. You guys could be taking a lot of risks. Okay, could be doing a lot of drinking. I also see where you're doing a lot of, like, searching maybe on, like, social media for people. You're looking people up. Maybe you're just getting kind of curious. I also see for some of you, maybe a lot of people are doing that to you. They're getting drinks in them and they're searching you online to cause trouble. Okay, so if that's happening, maybe, like, kind of watch your back. Make sure, you know, you don't get settled into anything that's too crazy. But, I don't know, I'm getting a weird sense where I feel like there's a lot of people kind of doing some spying on you, seeing what you're up to. They're getting a couple drinks in them, they're getting drunk, and they're stu posting stupid things, not meaning to, or they're looking you up, and trying to cause drama. So, if that happens, you know, you guys need to be cautious. Okay, let's go ahead and get a fortune card. Or get a couple, let's see how many come out for you. Okay, so I see love here. So, two wanted to come out. So, I see love, so... Love surrounds all of your connections. Move forward positively in all areas. Okay, so you do have like, a sense of love. Maybe there's people that see, you know, you're having something good happen for you in regards to your love life. And people are trying to stir the pot and cause drama. People maybe see you out drinking with somebody and they're causing, you know, this is for some of you. Causing into windows. Causing, not into it. Like, making up little, like, situations or fake things that are happening. Looking you up online. Telling other people online things you're doing. Okay, we also got angels. So your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. So it's like you're trying not to be bothered right now. You're focused on, you know, doing better with yourself. Okay, find your, do some healing. You know, do some, uh, just soul searching. So let's see, like, love advice here. We have to stay optimistic about your love life. As well as attraction in the reverse. So it could be something kind of new. You're not really sure how you feel about this person just yet. Okay, it could have been a soulmate and a reconciliation happening. 
So you could, these next, like, you know, nine days, have, like, a reconciliation with a soulmate. All right, as well as engagement. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what signs my side could be connecting to these next nine days. What signs? We got Pisces. They could have this in their chart somewhere. Let's go ahead and get more. What signs could Sagittarius be connecting to? Woo. Okay, so we got Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got Aries. On the bottom, we got Scorpio. They could have this in their chart. Let's see what's on the top. And then that could be their sun sign. So we got Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Cap. Pisces and Scorpio strongly here. So you guys could be connecting to these signs. At the end, I'm going to do all 12 signs, what is happening for you guys with this person. Okay, so make sure to be on the lookout for that at the end. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the tarot. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the tarot, guys. See what's in store for you these next nine days. Let's get three more shuffles. And the last one. Let's go ahead and get a three card. Actually, I'll do. Let's see. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. So. Hmm. Sorry guys, I'm trying to debate how I want to do this. So, wait, since there's nine days, I'll just split it up in three sections. So I'll do the first three days, the next three days, and then, okay, so I'll do today, the 22nd, 23rd, the 24th. Yeah, okay. Actually, let me see. That doesn't make sense. No, way. I'll do, so this is going to be for Tuesday, the 23rd, the 24th, the 25th. Then we'll have the 26th, the 27th, and the 8th, and the 29th. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead. This part is going to be for what's going on the 22nd to the 25th. Okay, the 22nd. Or, I can't talk. 23rd, 24th, 25th. So on the 23rd, I see the four swords reverse. So you're doing a lot of thinking about a situation that you're trying to heal from or fix. Maybe some communication that you want to reach out to somebody on this day. So tomorrow, you guys could be doing... Some thinking on like what to do in a connection because I do feel like you want a new opportunity here you want new love coming in from these three cards I see okay you want but there is a lot of indecision or a lot of like you know back and forth so four of swords reversed okay I do have the seven of pentacles reversed and the hangman reversed you realize like maybe this is a situation that you didn't put much growth into something that had potential but you just didn't really see the potential or you didn't really invest into somebody and you realize more clearly you're doing I feel like you're doing a lot of thinking and a lot of meditating and realizing like okay I realize I may be at fault for this situation with this person I haven't put my whole you know intentions in. I haven't been honest I haven't been trying to fix this you know and then I see on the 25th or the 20 24th, I do see, you know, the Ace of Cups, a new beginning, but we got the Two of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Something you've been taking your time into with this new connection, this new love, something you've been slowly trying to develop because you don't want to make any rational decisions. I feel like you're trying to be more logical on this day. Hopefully you guys can see this. You're trying to be more logical and making sure, like, this is what you actually want, okay? With the Two of Pentacles, we got the King of Swords and the Death. Okay, so on the 25th, I do see a sense of you ending out cycles that no longer serve you, things that make you feel imbalanced, things that feel like they're just too inconsistent, things you don't really trust. Okay, I feel like you're being very rational and you're ending, cutting off communication, cutting off things with people on this day that just don't benefit you. Okay, sad. So I feel like on this, on the 25th, which is for, uh, Thursday, I feel like you guys are cutting off communication. Could we deal with the Scorpio? I got Pisces here. Okay, but I feel like you guys are cutting off things that don't value to you anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to do the 26th to the 28th. What, babe? I love you. 26th to the 28th. Get two more shuffles. 
What do you need, babe? Get one more. Okay. Come on, guys. So about every, I don't know why, every Sagittarius video I do, I'm always interrupted with him eating or something. I just noticed, you know, it's like every single video I've done, I'm opening up a Lunchable, opening up a yogurt. Here, babe. Here, come get it. I can't get up. I'm too comfy. I need to do one more shuffle and then I'll finish your reading for the 25th. With the 26th and 28th. So this is kind of like a weekend reading. And then I'll do like Monday the 29th to the 31st. Okay. This is going to be for Friday, Saturday, Sunday of this coming weekend. Okay. So on Friday we got the hair fit reversed. Saturday two of cups. Sunday two of pentacles reversed. Okay. You could be doing the Taurus here strongly. But I feel like Friday you feel like there's kind of some stuff you still need to learn on this day like you're still having to learn from something or a sense of feeling kind of like you're non-committal and not really wanting to work on some kind of partnership okay but I do feel like you're making an effort though with the two of cups the next day I feel like there's a sense of you having a strong connection with somebody so let's get the hair fit reverse got the judgment reverse and the wheel of fortune I feel like you feel as if new things need to begin in the cycle with this person. If it's not the same person, it's like new things in general. But I feel like you're not sure whether or not this person's meant to be in your life or not. Like if you are meant to be, you know, or if this person is ready for commitment. You feel as if the timing's not right. This person's maybe not ready for commitment. You're not ready. Something of you're waiting for things to get kind of better though. Because then I do see the Two of Cups on Saturday the 27th. I see the Two of Cups. So soulmate connection. Yeah, page of cups. Some kind of offer here. Three of pentacles. Yeah. I feel like a sense of new things are taking place. And there's a, you know, a situation where you guys are willing to, like, make this work and have some kind of apology or offer here and work on something here. There is, you guys, you know, realize there's a strong soulmate connection or, you know, a really divided connection between you guys. When the two of pentacles reverse, somebody's trying to, like, let something go. Okay, the Queen of Cups, Page of Pentacles. I do feel like somebody was, they were kind of juggling you and somebody else. They're not doing that anymore and they're choosing you because they're very emotionally invested into you and they're willing to make this work. Okay, so if somebody was kind of having another situation they were kind of not sure of, I feel like, you know, on Sunday here, the 28th, that they realize, not for, I mean, this doesn't have to be for sure. This is just kind of, you know, out of the cards, but this person could be a Cancer here or an earth sign, but this person sees like that they want some growth here with you. They want something solid and stable and they have a lot of feelings or love for you or very emotional feelings for you. Okay, Sag? Yeah, can't grab the cards. Okay, let's go ahead and do, now we're gonna do the 29th to the 31st. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. So let's do three more shuffles. Okay, let's get three more shuffles for Sag for those three days. And then I'll do the Zodiac cards. Two more. I'm loving these Wizard of Oz cards. Very nice. I'm glad I took a chance on them and bought them online from an, like an independent shop. Because I'm just like obsessed with them. So let's go ahead and do the last shuffle. Let's do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, 29th to the 31st. 29th, you got the Three of Wands. Then you got the Five of Cups reversed for Tuesday, Page of Swords reversed on Wednesday. Okay, I feel like this is kind of a tough beginning to your week here. Because the Three of Wands, Monday the 29th, I feel there's a sense of you're waiting around for something. Okay, you're not digging in deep into something yet. You're kind of waiting to see, kind of testing the water, see how things go. So let's see what that's all about here. So Three of Wands for Sag. Okay, Queen of Swords reversed. And the Four of Swords reverse. I feel like you're not speaking to somebody. You're kind of cutting off communication right now because you're taking a lot of time to think about this connection or think about this person or whatever you're dealing with. You're doing a lot of time to think about it and kind of visualize what's the right thing to do, if it's worth investing into and waiting for, or if it's something you should just kind of walk away from. Because I feel like you're not, you know, offering much communication at all. If I don't really think you're talking at all to this person or you're being very, you know, just like minimal with conversation. Tuesday, we've got the Five of Cups reversed. There's something you're not wanting to feel guilty for anymore. Or you feel like you've um, 
overcame some kind of sadness from a situation. With the Ace of Swords reversed and the Three of Swords reversed, there's a sense of you just not wanting to face the truth anymore and just kind of walk away with the situation. You're not wanting to know the truth about what happened. You're just kind of wanting to just not acknowledge it and just move on, let something go and not be sad anymore. I think you just want to... With some situation, I feel like from your past, you're wanting to just heal from it and move on. You don't need to have any clarity or any truth. You're just willing just to kind of just toss it away and say, this is how it is. I'm just going to move on and not be sad anymore. And then Wednesday the 31st, I see the Page of Swords reverse. A sense of you not really talking to somebody. You have the Four of Cups reverse, Ace of Wands reverse. There's a sense where you're open to this person and you're not wanting to like, you know, miss out this opportunity. But there's a sense of kind of like spying on them, not checking on them, not really putting much in there to this situation. You're not really putting much passion into it. You're not like starting something. You're not really taking the motive to start something. More just like kind of spying or kind of waiting for them to talk to you, but you're not saying anything. Let's go ahead. I'm going to do all the signs in order. Like what's going on. What you could expect from these signs the next nine days. Okay, one second. Maybe go ahead and do these in order. Just take me a second, guys. I just got to get these all in order. Okay, so if you guys are dealing with an Aries, what you could expect this next couple or the next nine days from this person, let's see. Okay, what can you guys expect? Okay, forgiving and learning. Okay, very soon in reverse, separation, flirt in reverse. I feel like this is a person you guys are going to get on the same page with, but you're not going to really pursue anything. If you guys are dealing with an Aries, it doesn't even have to be a relationship. It could just be somebody from you know, your past here. Um, you could just be forgiving and learning, you know, from this separation with this person. But I don't really feel as if you guys are, you know, wanting anything of this anymore. Let's go ahead and get three cards and see. Okay, with the chariot, the emperor reverse, and the empress reverse. Yeah, I feel like you don't really, you just want forward movement. You want clarity. But I feel like you, you're not wanting to put any more effort into this. Okay, you almost feel as if you're just wasting your time. You want to put the love into yourself and not this person. So let's go ahead and clarify the chariot, the emperor, empress reverse. Okay, so chariot for if you're doing an Aries. Okay, the lovers and the star. So it's almost as if you guys want forward movement. If you guys are involved with this person, there's a sense you guys are and so involved. You are hoping for, you know, what you're wanting out of this connection. You're hoping to just move forward and, you know, maybe forgive each other and learn from things, but like continue this relationship. If it's not that, it's just the fact that you guys still have this deep connection for this person, okay? With the Emperor Reverse, I do have the King of Cups Reverse, Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles Reverse. It's like you know that there's still a sense where you want to offer something to this person, but you don't really know how emotionally invested you should be, okay? Or if you want to be emotionally invested. And then there's a sense where you feel like they're not really stable enough, okay? The Empress reversed. The sense of wanting to love yourself with the chariot and the nine of pentacles reversed. There's a sense of wanting to like grow from this connection, but you're having a hard time. You want to move forward, okay? And it's like you want to give to this person, but there's a sense of also feeling like you want it to be reciprocated, okay? You want to move. There's a lot of moving forward with this person. So if you guys have had a lot of stagnancy, I feel like you guys are going to move forward because I got the chariot twice. That's all about moving forward and moving on and all that good stuff. So you guys could be, you know, wanting to like have that here and move on. If not, you guys are just wanting to move in the direction where things are different and better for you. Okay, if you guys are dealing with a Taurus emotionally, you know, physically, however, let's see. All right, what can you expect from a Taurus? Attraction, okay. Then we got playfulness in the reverse and safe for you to love. So this is like an energy where plus separation in the reverse. I feel like you've been seeing a lot of this person and you guys aren't separated. Okay. There's a sense of you have a lot of attraction. Yeah, you have a lot of attraction for this person and you feel safe. Like you can trust them. But you guys are being, it's not really a playful energy. I get more of like an actual, you know, like an older energy where you guys feel like you guys do things 
I mean, you guys are playful, but I feel like you guys started off as, like, not being playful. You guys were maybe friends or went to school together, and now, you know, you guys have a lot of attraction. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Six of Wands Reverse, Nine of Pentacles. So there's a sense of with this person that it's all about, I think, your pride. You're you're kind of afraid of being, sing, of being in a relationship is what I see. I see where the, there is equal give and take with each other. You guys want give and take. But there's a sense of Sag... Feeling like if you're with this person, then you're not going to be noticed by people anymore. It's almost a sense of, I'm not trying to be mean, like, this person I feel like is wanting to give to you. But you're kind of like, eh, do I want to be single? Or do I, do I, am I enjoying being single? Or do I want to be with this person? It's like, almost like you're afraid, like, if you are with this person that no one else is going to notice you anymore. And, and you're not going to look like a hot ticket item or something. So let's get the Six of Pentacles, the World in Reverse, and the Five of Swords. I feel like there's a lot of things from the past that, like, a lot of things that you're still dealing with that, you know, this person's giving to you, but I feel like sad with this person, there's a lot of things, like, you're hiding from this person and you're not being honest about things from your past that you still haven't closed off, like, cycles or people you haven't closed out. This person's willing to give to you, but there's a lot of things that you're still not telling them, okay? I mean, that's why you want to be single, because you're seeing kind of other people. Six of Wands reversed. Six of Cups, yeah, the Two of Pentacles reversed. So there's a sense of you're still dealing with something from your past and that's why you're afraid of having moved like success with this person because you still are dealing with somebody from your past and you're afraid like this person's not going to pay you the attention if you're with this new Taurus or this new person. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. I got the Hayman reverse and the Two of Wands. You realize you need to make a decision that the matter of the fact is that you need to make a decision. You realize do you want to be single and independent or do you want to be with this person? Because I feel like this person, they're not going to want to wait around much. Okay, this Taurus you're dealing with, I know how Tauruses are. They get very, like, mad and impatient, and they just kind of take off. I've talked to Tauruses. So, I mean, you guys have to make a decision whether or not you want to be with them or if you just want to be single. You know, I feel like this person's not going to wait around much longer. Okay, Sab, so you guys need to make your choice. If you guys are dealing with a Gemini... One second, guys. My mom messaged me. Sorry. Yeah. Sage is going to pick up dinner later. Cool. I don't have to cook. All right. Gemini. You guys are dealing with Gemini. Okay. We got very soon. And then we have healing family issues. With This could be the one in reverse. So there's some kind of stagnancy with you guys. There's very soon things are coming together. But you or this person is healing some kind of family situation. Or they could just be dealing with a lot of... You know, childhood trauma, things they have to fix from their past. Okay, it could be things from their childhood they're still kind of dealing with. Or, you know, suffering from. So. Okay, we got the temperance, the emperor reverse, and the chariot. So I do see a lot of forward movement with this person. They are trying to remain calm, even if they are stressed out. But there's a sense, I don't really know if, you know, if they're kind of putting much action into this or if, or if you are. Okay, so there's a sense of somebody not really putting much action into something. They're more focused on moving on, moving forward. Okay, someone's kind of not really determined to work on something right here. But let's go ahead and get the temperance. With the two of wands reverse and the seven of pentacles. I feel like this person realizes they want growth with you. They want things to be balanced and fair and calm. They want a happy situation with you, something to grow from. And they had to make the decision not to be stuck anymore and, and, you know, move towards you. Okay, so I feel like this was a person that was kind of dealing with other things. Now they kind of realize what they need to do. Okay, there is, like, something to invest into. All right, the Emperor Reverse, though, let's see. With the World and the Nine of Wands. They still, I feel, this person is still scared because of their past. Okay, this is all about being guarded and, you know, closed off, kind of scared to give to a situation. This person's scared to invest a lot, okay? But I feel like there is a new cycle or a new beginning with you two. But this person, because they're past, they're scared to open up. I mean, they've been through a lot, you know, in their childhood or their past. Okay, with the chariot, do you see, like, them having forward movements? With the judgment, five of swords reversed. Yeah, they, I feel like this person realizes that they need to move forward with you because they trust you. They realize that you are meant to be in their life and that they can trust you and they feel like you're not being, like, secretive or keeping stuff from them. Okay, Sag, so if you're dealing with a Gemini, this person is still a little guarded and scared, but they realize, you know, that they want to move forward with you. They want forward movement, okay? Let's go ahead and do, if you're dealing with a, if you're dealing, it looks like it's going to rain, buddy. If you're dealing with the Cancer, 
Let's see what's going on the rest of March with you and this cancer. Okay, you deserve love. So this cancer has been showing you love. You need to know that you, yeah, new love in reverse and love yourself first. Attraction on the bottom, though. So this cancer has been showing you love. I feel like you need to love yourself first is what it's saying here. As well as new love in the reverse. It's like you're not really looking for new love right now. Okay. Maybe you're still hung up on this person and you can't really love anybody else or accept anyone new in your life. Because you're still needing to love yourself first because of this cancer, you know. Maybe they caused a lot of internal stuff. So, let's see. With the Knight of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Wands reverse. This is somebody they don't want to be... You know, this is somebody slow moving. They don't want to be impulsive anymore. Because I feel like in the past they were kind of a player and they just were very inconsistent in your life and didn't give you any explanation. I feel like this person, I don't really know if they have much to offer you, but I feel like this person does want to give you at least truth. You are going to maybe expect some clarity or some, you know, truth, you know, discussion with this person. Knight of Wands reverse. I don't feel like they want to be like inconsistent or impulsive in your life anymore. So let's do the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Ten of Cups and the Two of Swords reverse. This person, if they didn't realize that they wanted a future with you, I feel like this person realizes that they didn't invest into you in the past. That they were kind of blindsided and they realized they want like a future with you. Okay, this cancer, they realize they want like a future with you, something stable and long term. With the Ace of Swords, we do have the Justice reverse and the Six of Cups. So they realize that they haven't been very fair to you in the past. Okay, they're looking on the past here and realizing how they haven't been fair. Maybe they weren't giving you what you deserved. They weren't loving you like they should have been. I'm getting a lot of this person like is looking back on the past with how they treated you. And they realize they weren't very fair. Okay, the Knight of Wands reverse. They realized maybe in the past that they were very impulsive, you know. With the Ten of Wands and the Sun. This carries a lot of burdens on them, but they want happiness with you. Okay, they see happiness, but they feel like it's taken them a long time to get there. Or a lot of just you know, stress on their back, you're carrying all this, maybe just a lot of, you know, like things that they want to apologize for, but they haven't, they're just carrying all that, you know, but I feel like you make this person happy and they want, you know, they don't want to be so inconsistent in your life anymore, they want to actually be there, someone you can depend on, okay, if you're dealing with a Leo, what can you expect in that rest of March with the Leo here? Okay, it is safe for you to love, so you can open up to this person, as well as retreat in the reverse, and then getting to know each other in the reverse. But this is a person you've known for a while, and you're not disconnected to an energy. This is a person that you're currently, like, you know, connected to, a person that you feel safe around, and you've known them for, like, quite a while. It's not someone you're getting to know, it's not a new person, it's somebody that you've dealt with for a little while, okay? So... Okay, you get the Emperor, Hangman though, and the Six of Pentacles. There's trying to, I feel like you're trying, you or this person's trying to get to a better perspective in regards to this. That there is going to be give and take with this person and they are determined to make this work. I feel like this Aries, or not Aries, why am I saying that? Oh, because Emperor. This Leo, sorry, this Leo is very determined to make this work, but there's still a lot that they need to understand. Okay, so let's go into the Emperor here. Okay, the moon in reverse. Yeah, a lot of things that they need to reveal. A lot of secrets or things they need to understand. With the four of wands reverse. Maybe they need to be honest about their past to you, okay? About how things were in the past or about their past. Maybe they kept back, like, um, if this person's, like, divorced, maybe they, they need to reveal to you about them being divorced or some separation in their, like, past here with somebody, okay? With the hangman, hey, there's still a lot that needs to be, you know, addressed, there's a lot, still kind of some confusion with the strength in reverse and the nine of cups reverse. So there's a sense of not wanting to hold back, but there's like a sense of someone not feeling like they're completely happy or fulfilled here. Okay. Six of pentacles. So we do have the queen of wands reverse, four of pentacles reverse. There's a sense of somebody feeling as if they don't really know if there is like attracted to this person as they want to be and they're kind of almost like pulling back their energy or someone's kind of pulling back not really as interested okay maybe someone's not as attracted as the other person but there is kind of a give and take between you guys but I feel like there's stuff that needs to be addressed 
Okay, there's still a little bit of confusion. You guys need to get to the same page, same direction. Okay, if you guys are dealing with a Virgo, let's see what to expect the rest of March. So if you guys are doing the Virgo, okay, love yourself first in the reverse. As well as passion in the reverse. Let's get one more. This doesn't really tell me much. And let go of control issues in the reverse. Trust on the bottom. So there's a sense where you're not really sure how you feel about this person. You don't want, you kind of want to give to this, but it's also like you don't want to control it. Okay. And you're not really sure how you feel passionately about this person. Okay, maybe it feels like you guys don't really share the same passions. It doesn't really have to be in this connection. It could just be like you guys don't have the same. Maybe you guys don't really have a lot in common. And you're almost trying to control this connection and trying to make things work if you guys don't have much in common. I don't know why I'm getting that. Yeah, the Ten of Cups reverse, the Fool, and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are just kind of making it work with this person, but you're wanting new beginnings but it's like you're wanting things to change and like new things a new direction but there's a sense you're still getting to this but it's not really i don't feel like you're as happy as you want to be with this person i feel like almost as if you feel almost if you're having to be with this person because you guys have a family or there's just kind of you guys aren't really feeling this ten of cups with them you're just in the reverse you're not feeling it you're just not like where you want to be with this person okay so ten of cups reverse if you're doing the virgo okay the moon and the Eight of Pentacles. It's like you're kind of like concealing this to this person. You're kind of hiding how you feel. It's a lot of secrets you're keeping back. And it's like you're still working on the connection. But you're just not telling this person how unhappy you are. Or you're just not feeling this as much anymore. Okay. But I feel like you're concealing it. You're hiding it. Keeping it deep down. With the Fool. I feel like you want new opportunities. The Two Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. You're like holding on to things that are new and exciting in your life. Okay, but I feel like you're kind of weighing that out, weighing out what's, you know, what you want. I feel like you still are giving to this and giving fair, you know, the Six of Pentacles. But you got the Fool and the Three of Pentacles. You're just wanting things to change in regards to this. You're wanting a new direction with this connection with this person. Maybe you feel like it's just blah and boring and you're wanting some new direction. You're willing to still work on this. I don't feel like you're wanting to divorce this person necessarily, but you're just wanting it to get in a different direction. Maybe you want new things. You want like a younger perspective. You want to do younger, fun things. Maybe you feel like you guys are almost like an old couple. I don't know why I'm getting this. If you're with this person, you feel like you guys are an old couple and everything's blah and boring. Maybe you want excitement. Maybe you guys want to go on a trip somewhere. Go to the Hamas, you know. Go to the beach, you know. Just do something new and exciting instead of just staying at home watching TV, watching Wheel of Fortune. Or I don't know why I'm getting that. Like, you guys just act like an old couple eating, like, you know, TV dinners by the TV. And it's like, you're bored. I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and do Libra. I don't know what made me say all that. I don't I don't know. So let's see what's going on. We're doing with Libra the rest of March. Let's see. Okay, let your friends help you in reverse. So you feel like you don't need any guidance. With true love in the reverse, you kind of realize this isn't for you. Yeah, wedding reverse. Okay. And then pay attention to red flags in reverse. So you've already paid attention to it. You already kind of see this is kind of toxic or not what you're wanting. You're not happy. And it's like you don't need your friends to help you because you already know this on your own. You already realize, I'm not happy. I'm not content. This isn't what I want. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting that. Kind of like, I'm getting, I don't know why that Dixie chick song, Ready to Run. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like the wedding, like, you know, when you wear white and you just want to run. It's like your mama wants you to get married and you're like, no. All right. So if you guys like that song, Ready to Run by the Dixie Chicks, it's a good one. Okay, yeah, Three of Swords. You're making like a painful decision here with the Moon and the Eight of Cups reverse. Because I feel like your heart's kind of torn in different directions. There's a sense of you not revealing how you truly feel. Um, but there's a sense of you not wanting to walk away either because your heart's still kind of emotionally invested. Okay, but it's like a lot that you're kind of concealing to this person or a lot you're holding back. Okay, things that you aren't saying. So this person could be a Virgo cusp because for the Virgo um, sign, they kind of had this too. Or so you just don't really want to say how you feel to this person. But there's a lot of pain here in regards to this connection. So three of swords. With the six of wands and the magician. You, it's like you 
you're going through a, with this person, you're going through some pain, but you want to almost look like you're manifesting it to like overcome the pain you're going through. You want to look like you're doing okay when really you're kind of hurt by a situation, but you're manifesting you know, all this good energy around you where everybody thinks you're happy, you're having a good time, you're fine. Because I got the moon, so I feel like you're kind of, even to this person, maybe you're not telling this person how you feel and you're just kind of concealing your feelings deep down and not being completely honest. Yeah, the Six of Swords and the Three of Wands reverse. I feel like you're hiding from this person that you want to walk away and not wait on this anymore. Almost like you've just given up on this connection. You feel like it's pretty blah, boring. You just aren't feeling it. With the Eight of Cups reverse is also a sense where you feel emotionally like you are still attached in some way. Maybe there's children or there's a lot into this. Maybe family too or you guys have friends. Okay, with the Judgment though, it's like you have to make a decision. Seven of Wands reverse, whether or not you want to block this person out of your life, block out this connection. Okay, so I feel like you guys do what you want, but if you're dealing with a Libra, I feel like you're kind of at a, what is that, like, mind over heart decision? Like, you're kind of deciding, you're trying to figure out what you're truly wanting, what you need to get rid of, if you truly want this person anymore. Okay. If you guys are dealing with a Scorpio, let's see what can happen the rest of March. If you do... Dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, make the effort. Keep an open mind in the reverse. So you've been having a hard time keeping an open mind. Love yourself first in the reverse. Honeymoon reverse. Okay, stay optimistic. It's like you're having a hard time. Like you want to be like with this person, but you need to make some effort here. And it's maybe because you've been... I feel like you've been kind of isolating yourself from this person. You've been kind of spending a lot of alone time and not really seeing them. So if you're dealing with Scorpio, I feel like you've been kind of maybe making excuses not to see this person. Maybe they've been wanting to take you out on a date and you're just kind of like enjoying your own company, not really wanting to be bothered. Okay, so let's see. With the world, eight of cups reverse and the moon. So wow, you guys keep getting this, but I feel like you're wanting new cycles, new beginnings here, but you're having a hard time walking away. And there's still a lot that you need to confess, but you're having a hard time, you know, telling this person. Like opening up to this person, telling them how you feel. Okay, maybe you want some new cycles, new beginnings. Wanting things to change is what I'm seeing. So let's do the world here. Yeah, the sun in reverse. Like, it's like you're unhappy. The high priestess reverse. You feel like there's a lot of secrets being kept from you or you're keeping a lot of secrets. You're kind of unhappy. Maybe you're concealing a lot of secrets is what I'm seeing. This person's finding out. But it's like you're wanting a new adventure because you're very unhappy in your life right now with this person. Okay? The Eight of Cups reverse. It's like you're having a hard time walking away with the Eight of Swords reverse, Three of Wands reverse. Okay? It's like you're trying to get out of your head about this. Like you've been out of your head. It's more just like emotionally. Not really your head. It's more like an emotional attachment. Okay? But it's like you're trying not to like focus on this and realize maybe logically it's just not going to happen for you with this person. Okay? You don't really want to wait around anymore. With the moon, I feel like there is things you're kind of keeping back with the hangman and the six of wands. You Because you don't see the perspective, okay? It's like you're trying to, you feel like that's the right thing to do because you don't see their perspective. You feel like you need to kind of, almost to protect yourself, you need to keep something hidden, okay? You don't really see their perspective that this person needs to know. I feel like you're trying to make, you know, everything look like it's fine and successful, things are good. But you're kind of having a hard time, like, being truthful and opening up about something you need to say. Okay? Could be your person too, Sag. But I feel like in regards to you, there's something you need to tell this person. I feel like there's a lot of things you need to tell people. Like, you've just been kind of concealing a lot. Okay? Let's see. If you guys are dealing with another Sagittarius, what can happen the end of, you know, March, the rest of March here? If you and this other Sag. Okay, we have, this could be the one sideways, so could be the one you're not really sure how you feel about somebody, and then there's unrequited love, so you feel as if there's not enough chemistry, express your love in the reverse, deception in the reverse, okay, soulmate, so this, um, this could be a soulmate person, it's like you can trust them, but you just aren't really expressing how you feel to this person, because you're just not really, I feel like you're not really as into this person as you thought you're going to be, or the connection's just not really there, the chemistry's not there, okay, when that happens, you know, that's why you're kind of iffy. You're not sure if this could be the one. You're like, uh, could be. I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead and do one more shuffle. Okay, the chariot. Six of cups, king of pentacles. Could be somebody from your past here. Someone very successful. Somebody, 
I feel like there is going to be forward movement between you guys. Could be somebody from your past you're dealing with, or you have a lot of, you know, chemistry or stuff in the past here, like a strong bond. And if somebody that's been in your life has been very successful, they have a lot of money, they have their stuff together, or they're wanting to offer you this. Okay? Let's do the chariot. Queen of Cups reverse and the magician. I feel like you're just not, you know, like it's in your power, like you can, you know, move. I feel like you know it's in your power to move forward. And you're not really emotionally invested into this. You're not emotionally available for this person. And you know it's in your power. So you need to just walk away and have forward movement. Okay, let's do the Six of Cups here. With the Tower Reverse and the Two of Wands Reverse. So you're not wanting things to change between you guys. Because maybe you guys had a really strong connection. Or you've known them for a long time. Could have been a childhood friend or something. And you don't want any like disruptions in your childhood friend friendship or whatever but there's a sense of you realizing like you don't want to be stuck anymore and you need to, to move in a forward direction okay the king of pentacles three of pentacles four of pentacles reverse the sense of you kind of wanting to work together on this but you're not really holding on to the idea of it anymore or you could just be working with this person in regards to finances um or they could be like somebody you work with but you just don't want to make it anything more than that because I don't really feel like you're emotionally available or open to this person. I feel like it's more kind of a sense of wanting to work financially with this person. Like maybe they help you with your job or they've been there for you financially. But it's nothing like you, not really a relationship, okay? Or you're going to tell the person, hey, I've known you for a long time. I just like you as a friend. We're not going to be anything more than that. Like I'll still be your friend, but I'm not going to, you know, be more than that. Okay, so with a Capricorn, so you guys are dealing with a Capricorn or, you know, around Capricorn energy. Let's see what can happen the rest of March. Playfulness. Okay, so this could be someone you're very playful around. Children, you guys could be very childlike or you guys both could be young or they make you feel young. Very soon in the reverse and calling in your soulmate. So I feel like this already kind of is happening. If you feel as if this could be your soulmate, I feel like um, it's already happening now. Okay, so it's like you're calling on this person. I feel like this person's already coming in now. That you're not having to wait much longer is what I'm seeing. Instead of very soon, I feel like it's either already happening or it's close to happening. So this is a person that makes you feel very young and youthful. There's like just a childlike energy between you guys. You can feel like you can be this person. You can be yourself with this person. Yeah, three of cups. You guys like to have fun and celebrate. Three of pentacles, a star reversed. Okay, but I'm not really sure if this is a person that you're wanting though. This could be somebody not meeting your standards, somebody you're not really wishing for, or you weren't wishing for this to happen, okay? And this is maybe somebody you didn't expect to come into your life, okay? But I feel like you guys have a good time together, they help you financially, or you guys just have fun together in general. Someone that's in your energy, maybe you guys have mutual friends. Let's do the Three of Cups. Okay, Eight of Wands, a lot of communication between you guys, but the Eight of Swords. So this person gets you kind of stuck in your head because there's a lot of communication between you guys or you're getting communication from this person that you just don't really know how you feel and it's leaving you kind of feeling stuck, like you're kind of not sure what the direction should be. Okay, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Magician. There's a sense of you kind of wanting to block out... You know it's in your power like to manifest this person into your life and keep them in your life. But I feel like in regards to anything else, you're kind of like saying no, like I don't want anything else out of this. Okay? Because then I got the star reverse. So it's almost like this person you're not really hoping to be with, like, you know, like in a connection with, like dating. Yeah, with the nine of wands and nine of cups reverse. You feel like this person, they're not going to meet your standards. They're not going to make you happy. You're not really sure if you can trust this person either. Could just be someone very childlike and immature. And but you're not really sure if this person's even gonna make you happy or you're gonna feel, you know, in regards to this, you don't really know if you're gonna be happy and fulfilled in regards to your love. Okay. So let's go ahead and do an Aquarius. If you guys are doing Aquarius, or if you guys are kind of interested in one, what's gonna happen the end of March between you guys? Okay, let go of control issues. It came out sideways. So you're still kind of controlling the situation. You've got true love. Trust in the reverse. So you're kind of having a hard time trusting them, but you feel like this is the person for you. This could be the one on the bottom. So yeah, you feel like this is your person. You feel like this is just a true, genuine love and care for each other. 
Okay, you guys generally care about each other. That's what I'm seeing. But there's a sense of you kind of having a hard time trusting them or trusting the situation, how it's going to go. You're kind of almost like not putting a lot of trust into it. You're afraid of getting hurt. Okay, we got the Ten of Cups reverse, King of Cups, and the Hierophant reverse. Could have been somebody you've already been invested into, or somebody that has like a broken relationship or broken marriage is what I'm seeing. Somebody that could have been divorced. Okay, but it's somebody you are emotionally into, like you have a lot of emotions for them. But there's a sense where, you know, they're still learning in regards to I believe this is a person they're learning in regards to like being divorced or being like, you know, separated from somebody. Or there's, there was a separation between you guys. And you guys are kind of back together. So let's do the Ten of Cups reverse. Alright, with the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles reverse. So I feel like if this person hasn't... Okay, one more yogurt. Here. I just want to finish this. Here. Here, here. I just want to finish this video. Here. Okay, so this is a person that they didn't offer you anything solid. That could have been, like, what caused you guys not to have this full, um, you know, commitment here. Like, this full family, marriage, commitment thing. But I feel like you guys, this person wants to, like, come in slowly and offer you something, okay? There's going to be an offer here. Something stable, something very slow coming in. The King of Cups, I feel like there is a lot of emotions here. But the Ten of Wands and, like, Page of Swords reverse. There's a lot of stress on you that you guys aren't talking or speaking. There's a lot of, like, seeing each other so on social media or spying on each other. Because there's just a lot of emotions that you're, like, holding back and not expressing to this person. I feel like there's a sense where you have a lot of emotions that you're just not showing to this person here. And it's like it's really weighing heavily on you. You just want to tell them, but you're afraid. Okay, with the Hierophant reverse here. I could feel like this could... The person's non-committal or there's a fact where maybe you feel non-committal you feel like this isn't going to go in the connection like you wanted with the five of swords you feel like this person's not being honest or there's a lot of conflict with the queen of swords reverse could feel like this person also is not being like i said completely honest they're not talking to you there's not much communication okay and i feel like maybe you're even afraid to communicate to this person you're kind of not being truthful with how you feel to them i feel like there's a lot of you masking how you feel Okay, I feel like you truly really have a lot of emotion with the King of Cups. But you're afraid, like, it's going to ruin something if you tell this person how you feel. There's a sense of them, like, not wanting you as much if they know how you feel or something. Okay. Let's go ahead and do Pisces. So, if you're doing the Pisces, see what's going on the rest of March for you guys with them. Okay, we got new love. So, you could be having a new love. It's a Pisces coming in. Honeymoon in reverse. Maybe when you've been spending time with yourself, you're going to meet this new person. Soulmate, free yourself in reverse. Unrequited love in reverse. So there is a lot of chemistry here. Okay? And with free yourself in reverse, I feel like you didn't have to free yourself because you don't know this person. It's a new person coming in. Okay? So you don't have to free yourself. Okay? Because it's a person you don't need to free yourself from because they're new. How can you free yourself, you know? So, let's see. Okay, Knight of Wands, King of Cups, Ace of Wands. Something very passionate with this person. This person came in unexpectedly. Um, you guys just, I feel like you guys just hit it off right off the bat. You guys had a lot of passion right off when you started this, okay? A lot of emotions running deep. You started getting an emotional bond with this person. You felt something strong and passionate. So that's good, Sag. So Knight of Wands. Might have also been like a booty call thing, too. I'm not sure what I mean. Like maybe you guys kind of, you know, one night stand with the High Priestess reverse. You're not really sure if you can trust them or they're keeping secrets with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, maybe you're kind of not sure if this person's actually single or if they're keeping, you know... They're kind of lying to you, acting like they want to be with you, but there's also a sense where this person just wants to be single, or there's a sense of somebody who's like fearing their independence. Could be us. Okay, let's do the oh, we got the world. Let's do the King of Cups, though. Okay, Knight of Cups, their swords reverse. This person wants to come in and offer you something, and I feel like it's because you've been healing from some other situation. Okay, it's like you're emotionally ready to offer this person some, accept their um, offer here. Because you've been healing from something else and you're ready, I feel like, emotionally to invest into something new. Right? Ace of Wands. 
We do have the Tower and the Six of Pentacles reverse. So there is changes being made here. And there's a sense of you're having to change because, you know, you're not sure whether or not you want to give or take to the situation because it is still new. So you're not sure if, because I feel like it's fairly new and you're not sure if you want to give to this anymore. Okay, guys. So make sure you like and subscribe. Comment Hi, down below. Hope you have a wonderful day.